Hi, I'm Paul with RackOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Thule T2 Pro XT Hitch Mounted Platform Bicycle Rack. Here we have installed onto this vehicle. I'll go over uh, several of the features that make this rack unique um, in this category. So for starters, we have it in the deployed position. This is a hook on wheel design where you have a hook that will ratchet down onto the front wheel and then a rear wheel cradle that holds the rear wheel in place. This is the category of hitch rack that on the two inch version allows for a two bike addition to it. So this has this rack does have four bike uh, capabilities when you purchase the two bike add-on separately. So for starters I'll go ahead and put it into the stowed position and one of the great features of this design is that it has a easy, an easy to reach handle that's at a great position for both leverage and access. So it's easy to, to raise and lower this carrier. So now it's in the stowed position, has a real good fit on this particular vehicle that has a two inch receiver hitch. They also make a model that's available for an inch and a quarter receiver hitch. However, that would be a two bike only version. It does not have the capability of accepting the two bike add-on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, take the rack off of the hitch so we can so we can look at the design here. So this is held on uh, into the hitch using two, two features. One is a wedge which prevents wobble both vertically and horizontal and then also an auto pin which helps get the rack in position and properly positioned inside the hitch. On the opposite side here we have the turn knob and that's what uh, will tighten the tighten that wedge into the receiver hitch. Also while we're in this position we can see the grid structure that creates the support for the platform. This is unique to Thule and it provides an exceptional level of stiffness for the carrier and also by having the grid structure where you have the cutout sections wherever it can be cut out that saves quite a bit of weight. So I'll go ahead and load this rack onto back onto the hitch. So you'll notice I'm going to keep it in this right angle stowed position. That's definitely the easiest way to load and unload um, one of these platform style racks. And then in addition to that, I'll use my, my leg here. It's braced against my leg and I can use that to help guide the hitch base down onto the hitch. Basically, I have it on the, the bottom ledge of the, of the receiver hitch and I'll bring it upright until it begins to slide inward. Once it starts to slide inward, that's when I'll start using this auto pin. And what I need to do is just bring it in far enough to where the tip of that pin is past the collar of the hitch. And then I don't have to look, I can just simply slide, slide it forward and then that pin engages into the hitch pin hole. And so that makes sure that it's perfectly in alignment where it needs to be inside the hitch. Now you'll notice there's quite a bit of play here. So what we'll do is tighten, tighten this turn knob and as I tighten, I'll also rock it side to side so that that wedge can find the corner of the hitch and get seated properly into the corner of the hitch. So I got that tightened. Now you also notice here at, the, at this base that we have this extra piece of metal that extends out. That's there to protect this, this turn knob so that even if you have a vehicle with low ground clearances and you happen to scrape, scrape the bottom of the rack, it will only scrape that metal and protect this turn knob. So this is a locking turn knob, so locks are included. And I'll go ahead and put it into lock position. Now in the lock position, the knob just spins freely. So that's a, a very effective theft deterrent because there is no lever or anything that can break uh, that someone can try to force. It's just going to spin freely. And so that doesn't allow for removal of the hitch rack. And of course, as you can see, we have a very sturdy, stable rack. No, no vertical or horizontal play. Okay, so while we're in this position, let's look at another feature of this, of this rack design. And that's how these two silver trays are mounted onto the, the base. And they have four bolts that are holding that silver tray in place. And they're in slots that allow for adjustment side to side of each tray independently. So that, that ensures that when you have two bikes loaded, you can adjust to make sure that the two bikes don't touch one another. The handlebars of one bike perhaps touching the seat of another bike 
um, so that can be prevented. So now uh, with it in the vertical position, I want to bring it down to the carrying position. So I'll just grab that lever and once, I, once it's released, I can let go of the lever and just bring it down. There's a handle here that gives me perfect leverage and then it'll click into that uh, carrying position. So now what, uh, what I'll do is go ahead and show you how we'll load up the bike. Uh, for, to get started, we want to position the carrier so that it can accept the bike easily. So we'll move this hold down arm forward, press this inner gray button and extend that all the way out. On the back here, we have this rear wheel cradle and that slides back and forth along the length of this tray. To release it, I just press in the, the gray knob and remove the ratcheting, the nylon ratcheting strap. And I'll just kind of bend it backwards here so it stays out of our way. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and load up a bike. Now this happens to be a four inch wide fat tire bike, so four inch wide tires. This carrier can actually accommodate all the way up to a five inch wide uh, fat tire bike. And uh, in general, when you're loading a bike, uh, what you wanna do is uh, bend down as low as you can, lift with your legs, and then bring it up on top of the the carrier. Okay, and then for stability, we want to get this front wheel arm over the tire and get that in place. So once it makes contact with the tire, you want to give it a firm downward pressure to click it so it has a good firm connection onto that. And you want it as close as possible to the fork or the brake or what brake bridge perhaps as close as possible without it touching. Okay, now in the back here, I'll bring that strap and what we want is this rear wheel cradle basically to be centered uh, below the, uh, the center of the rear wheel. So we can just move it back and forth like this and then find a couple of spokes to run this strap through and then slip that behind the gray lever. Now this lever also functions as a ratchet so I can ratchet that down, get a nice firm click. You also have a, a, a rim protector here, which is great, not so much for this bike, but great for um, road bikes. And speaking of road bikes, of course, this can handle big mountain bike tires and wheel sizes all the way up to 29 inch. And it can accommodate bikes with wheels as low as, as small as a 20 inch wheel size. And, uh, and wheel th tire thicknesses anywhere from that five inch that I mentioned all the way down to very narrow road bike tires as narrow as 19 millimeters. Okay, so while we have it in this position, um, I wanna go ahead and demonstrate the access ability into the rear of the vehicle. So with that same lever that I used earlier, I'll just tip it down and then I can go ahead and open up the rear hatch and you'll see how you have access into the back of the vehicle, even with the bicycle loaded. And this is with uh, basically a mountain bike with wide handlebars. So that's great to give you a place to grab your helmet, shoes, what have you, without having to actually take off the bikes. Okay, and then when I want to put it back in the uh, carrying position, simply just lift. And a, an important note about this design is that this release assembly um, can be removed and repositioned onto the end of your two bike add-on if you equip your 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 uh, rack with the two bike additional carrying capacity. This carries over to the end of that. So again, you get the easy raising and lowering ability and the excellent uh, leverage from that handle. Another feature that I, I skipped over but I wanna show which is important is the two positions that this uh, rear wheel strap allows for. Currently this one is in a position that allows you to bring it down and snug it up tight for uh, thin road bike tires. Now we can uh, remove this strap temporarily by just pushing it out and then I'll reposition it. Instead of it being anchored at the, f at the back of this cradle, we'll anchor it at the front of this cradle. And now you've got a strap that's much longer and that's actually how we have the rear one because that is a fat tire bike. But you can see here, and now we have a much larger area to accommodate the uh, larger tires. So it's kind of a hidden feature, but it's there for you when you need that uh, added length. Okay, so the next thing we wanna show 
is the security features that are included. So we mentioned the security that holds the, the rack to the receiver hitch, and so that's currently locked, but we also wanna lock the bicycle to the carrier. And to do that, you have your cable that extends out from this arm, and you can use that to wrap around, around your bicycle frame, and then it locks back to itself right there. And so with the same key that was used to lock the carrier to the hitch, we'll use that same key to lock the bike to the carrier. So now we have a good, effective theft deterrent uh, for both the bike and the carrier. And of course, the second bike has its own independent hitch lock. So a really nice thing about having a cable that's part of the rack is that you're more likely to use it because it's in a very convenient, accessible position. And so um, even if you're just going away from the vehicle for just a short period of time, it only takes a moment to do that so that you'll be more, much more likely to do that and uh, get that security. Whereas uh, other more hard to use methods of locking, you know, sometimes people might not bother to lock because it's not convenient. But this is definitely convenient to lock up a bike this way. And this uh, just conveniently housed back in the, in the arm so it's there when you need it. Okay, so those are all the key features of the Thule 930934 XTS of course, this rack is also available in the same version, just with a black finish. Both of them have the uh, rough finish, which doesn't show fingerprints, extremely durable, and a very high quality, stiff uh, rack to, uh, to transport your bikes on. This product and the full line of Thule products are available at rackoutfitters.com. Please visit our site for complete details, our pricing, and our promotions. Thanks for watching.